Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to send and receive all your custom or professional emails using Gmail. This is how it's going to look like. For example, when you come here to send, you'll have an option over here which is like a drop down. And when you click over there, you have the option to select on which email you're actually going to send from. For example, this is my email on my blog.com which is gotechug. And when you come over here to gotechug, you actually see that this is my blog. So I'm actually sending all emails under my professional or business email using Gmail. And at the same time, I'm in position to receive all those emails in Gmail that are coming to my business email, which actually eases your work and saves you from logging into the webmail account and back and forth. Let's see how to do that. So the first thing you have to do is you have to have access to that webmail account. And uh, if you don't have access to it, you'll have to contact your email or web hosting provider. So if you have access to your cPanel, you can simply come over here to email accounts. And uh, if you have the email account, you can select from the available email accounts. But in this case, I'm going to create a new email account and I'm going to name this email account test. And then I will have to select the domain name for which I want to create that email account. So in this case, I'm going to choose uh, my blog. And then I'm going to choose a password. So I'll enter my password and then I'll simply create the email account. But before you create the email account, make sure that this option is selected uh, so that the owner of the email is able to receive the email instructions or the mail client instructions. So I'll simply say create. Okay, now we have our test email created. So when I check the email, okay, here I'm going to open up with Roundcube. Once this person has access to their webmail account or their web or their business email, which is under the webmail, and how do you access this email? You simply just come over here to that website where that email is created forward slash webmail. So once that person comes over here, then they'll have to enter in their email address and their password. So in this case, I'll enter in my email address, which is test at go-tutes.com and then I enter my password and then I log in. So those are the two ways on how you can actually log in onto your business email. One, I logged in straight through the cPanel after creating this email account, which is this. And then here I had to use the webmail URL. Okay, so I'll simply close this over. What we are interested in is this over here. We are going to open up this email and this email is basically containing some information that we are going to use in our Gmail account so that we can always receive all emails that are coming to this specific email into our Gmail. And at the same time, we can use our Gmail to respond to all our business inquiries under our business email to all our contacts. Okay, so how do we do that? First of all, we should have access to our Gmail after opening this email. But before I even go into the Gmail section, if you didn't receive these details, then you actually have to contact your hosting provider or the person who set up your hosting to create for you the email or to send you these details. Or in the other case, if you have the cPanel access, you can simply just come to that email and check here on connect devices. And right under connect devices, you have this option over here, mail client manual settings, and you have them here. Let's head back here into our inbox. Now I'm going to pull up my Gmail and I'm going to come here to the Gmail account. I'm going to come to settings. I'm going to go to settings. And then I'm going to come straight to the option for accounts and import. And down here is where I can add emails so that I can send emails under my business account in my Gmail. So I'll start by going under here and say add another email. And right here, I'll add the email, which is test at go-tutes.com. I'm now already inside my Gmail. Don't forget that. And then over here, I'll add my account name. So my name is Kwehagan Hamza. This is the name that will appear as the person who is writing the email or the account name in that case. So I'll simply just say next. And down here, I'll have to add the SMTP server details. Now, this is where this information comes uh, to be vital. Down here, there is something called the SMTP server. Now, one thing you have to put in mind is that you should always 
uh, use the secure details not the non ssl settings so you should always consider using these details because right now ssl is forced globally uh, the biggest percentage of websites are actually using ssl so i prefer and i recommend that you use the ssl settings so under here we have something called the outgoing server and that is where the smtp port is or the smtp details are so what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to the outgoing server and then select the url for the outgoing server and then come back here to your gmail and you're going to come here to the smtp server and then you're going to enter in that url and then you have to select the port so the port number was 465 so come over here click on the drop down select 465 and then the username is actually the email that is going to be used over there so i'm going to type in the email and the password this should be the same password that you have been using in your to log into your webmail account simply grab my password paste it over here make sure that you have selected the ssl option and then say add account boom now you'll receive a notification to actually approve this connection so i'm going to come here i'm going to come to my inbox of my webmail account i think i'll wait for a few minutes or something so that i can receive that email if you don't receive the email you can simply come back here to this option and say resend email and this email will come straight to that account of yours under your website okay now after just like a couple of seconds i received this email then now i'm in position to open it and then i'm going to click on this url if you are unable to access this url you can simply copy this code and once you copy that code come back here to this window and then paste that code and say verify now that means you'll have approved gmail to allow you send emails using your business email through gmail okay so that is done if you are still unable to do that you still have the option to click on the link over here and you approve that authentication and simply just say confirm now let me come back here to my gmail and i'm going to go to settings and then we are going to come to accounts and import and you're going to look up down here and see that now we have another account called Kwehangana Hamza and the email we have over here is called test at go-toots.com this is what we wanted awesome now this is under the option of send as now when we come here to compose I want you to look here in the drop down and you're going to see that there is an email option called test at go-toots.com which is the email we just added so now we can use our gmail and we send to our contacts any email or any business email using our business email without actually logging into the webmail account now how do we receive all emails from our webmail account into our gmail without us having again to go back and check our webmail account i'll close this over then i'm going to come back here to our webmail account inbox i'm going to open this and then i'm going to come back here to our configuration settings and now we have this other option called incoming server these are the settings that are going to allow you to receive all your emails into your gmail without having to come again to your webmail account so i'm going to go back to my gmail i'm going to simply just come down here and say check mail from other accounts and i'm going to say add email and over here i'm going to add my email which is test at go-tutes.com and i'll say next and then i'm going to choose i'm going to say import emails from other accounts using the pop3 server i'm going to say okay so i'll simply just set up my username as my email and then a password for the password that i use actually to log into my webmail account pop server i use my url which is for the pop server provided here in my email account and then the pop server url which is 995 okay which is the one just down here it should be pop3 and then i simply say add account and boom finally i have added my email account now that means that if someone sends me an account i'll be able to receive those emails straight into my gmail and i never have to check my webmail account once again so when i come over here to inbox you realize that i've already gotten uh, confirmation messages from gmail when i click over here then they actually ask me to confirm that i actually want to receive these emails through my gmail so i simply click over right here and then i confirm my gmail that i'm actually allowing it to receive and send emails using my webmail account 
Now when I come back over here to uh, like compose, of course my other option is still there whereby I can just simply send. So let me just send an email to gotechug at gmail.com and I'm going to say testing sending kindly respond to this email to test so I'll simply send I'm actually sending an email using my webmail account but now it is in gmail so i forget about the webmail account i simply just select my email or my business email and i'm sending to a client or anyone having that email address so and i'm saying send okay so i've sent my email now once that person goes and visits their email account so now i'm going to my other email account looks like it's not yet here checking the spam nothing yet okay after just a couple of seconds, finally I received the email right in my inbox. It reads my name. This is the name that we set up in our Gmail to appear, like for the user of the email. When I open this email, you see that uh, kindly respond to this email. Okay, so I'm going to respond to this email. And this email should go to this other person's email, which is test at go tutes.com and it should actually go in their email because right now we want to be receiving all these emails or responses in our gmail account so i'm going to say received your mail and i am going to simply send boom so email sent so i switch back to their email account and then i reload my inbox i wait for the response cool finally we have received the email in our inbox in our other gmail and you see it is this person and uh, he has said received your mail unfortunately there are two different accounts of mine one is for gmail one is the gmail one and the other one is for the testing email but you get the whole idea on how you can link up your business email in your gmail and you can basically run all your operations right within gmail and you forget about the headache of logging into the webmail account and now when we come back here to our webmail account in the inbox you realize that this email is also right here that we received from that person and actually it shows that it has been read now in case you haven't read that email of course also right here in your webmail account it will show that it has not been read now forget about logging into webmail just simply use your gmail thank you so much for watching if you find this tutorial of value to you please hit the like button and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing